What's up? What's good? How we be? I'm Brent. I'm Fred. And, and we, we are, are the Spirits Brothers. Brothers. <laughs> With cigars in our hands. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you pull out the box, man? Hey, man. Uh, you know, I appreciate the, the, the love on this, man. <laughs> So, you know, Monte Cristo uh, number twos uh, used to be, you know, my favorite uh, uh, cigar from uh, that island that uh, lies be below or uh, south of the United States. Well, uh, Monte Cristo has something called the Open Regatta, and uh, it's kind of a miniature uh, number two. Uh, it's got a different flavor profile, yeah. uh, definitely, and it's not as, as elegant. Uh, as the uh, the number two, uh, but uh, I, w I had uh, the opportunity to go to Curacao for my sister's birthday, and uh, we went into the. I thought you were gonna say Cuba. No, <laughs> now we were in Curacao, okay. so okay. We, but I, I went into a shop that sold Cubans, and uh, when we went into the main town there, and uh, I actually had a, a box of a Partica Series D number four that I bought, and I bought. That's too thick, right there. Too man, I love those. Yeah. But I, you know, but I've had them. I, so I had, uh, I think, two or three of these as singles. Okay. And so uh, when I got back to the place we were staying, I smoked one of these, and the next time we went in town, I took that box of part of the series D number four back to the yeah. shop and said, "Oh my man, I need to swap these." I'm not sure I would do that. You know, and I, I understand why you did it. Yeah. But I'm not sure I would. Well, I, the part of the series D number four is a better stick than this, yeah. but this is a great stick. It is a good and, stick. And, and at the time when I did that, um, you just didn't come by these yeah, at all. It's hard. They're, they're a little bit hard to find. I, I, knew, I, knew yeah. I knew how to get the part of the series D number yeah, four. You know how to get these. Yeah, exactly. So, so what we're going to be drinking with those is uh, uh, a little bit of stuff from uh, Park City, Utah, the High West Distillers. Uh, a Midwinter's Night's Dram. And I made sure I took my time to say that because I always want to say Midsummer's Night's Dram. But it's a Midwinter's Night's Dram. So you must study Shakespeare when you was in, in high school and shit, huh? No, I was skipping school and stuff. Man. <laughs> I had a hard time to get to school. <laughs> See, that's why you as a lawyer and I'm in construction. No, I had a hard time to get through that shit. No, man. You know? No, I tell you what, I'm, I'm not a huge fan <laughs> of William Shakespeare either, man. You know? So. Uh, but we 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 have the Act Six, Scene Three, and and, and just and just so for people who don't understand, uh, like I'm a, a Shakespeare expert. <laughs> I mean, a, a, a Midsummer Night's Dream is a play, I believe, yeah, by yeah, William Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Yeah. And so the title of this bottle, or the branding of this bottle, is is a play on that particular. Uh, uh, Play screenplay, not screenplay, but but theatrical play by William Shakespeare. So uh, I will say that I have uh, not seen uh, the play and I have not had the dram. Uh, so this is going to be an interesting way to spend the afternoon. Well, let's let's get on some notes. All right, let's, let's do see, it. See what it looks like, man. And it is a rye. A rye. Yeah. This has got rye. this has got a lot of. A lot of color for a it rye. It does have a lot of color. That's 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 kind of dark, Ooh. man. That's kind of dark for for a rye. Just the rye notes hitting you all up front. Ooh, and yeah, this, yeah, this is a prominent nose, bro. Yeah, this is not faint. It's a little bit of sugar cane. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking sweetness is the first sugar, thing that sits me. Sugar, sugar cane. I don't know. A little faint on some fruit. Some plums, yeah. you know, maybe some... It is kind of slightly floral. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's on top of that rye. It's, it's more prominent in terms of, the nose is more prominent. It's, 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 it's a higher, yeah. it's, it's a more intense nose than what you get on a lot of uh, different spirits and stuff. So, you know, it, uh, it, it, I mean, it, be, it begs... To be, to be consumed. Yeah, well, let's do it, man. No, no, I want to hear what you're going to say before. No, 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 no. I'm just saying it's, it's, it's a coveted bottle by people that are out there. They're, they're kind of hard to come by. Um, I've been trying to rat hold a couple. Uh, I've picked up some in a, in a lot of different places, in a lot of different areas, and, and I know that the, the groups around the area are trying to are trying to get with it. You know? so, 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 I have never purchased a bottle of Midnight, uh, Mid. 
<laughs> winner, <laughs> nice draft. It'll get you, brother. The <laughs> nah. title just stumps me all the time. America? Now yeah. I know why he was going in slow motion when yeah. he was doing the pronunciation. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you want to say something. Yeah. It just makes you want to say something. Yeah. You know? But I guess what I was trying to what I was trying to say with that is that I have seen, I've never purchased a bottle, but I've seen well, the high various West, expressions. The high, West, the high West stuff is out there. You can find some of the other High West stuff on the shelves all the time. But I'm talking about the, the mid winter. Winter, <laughs> no. Night's Dram. Yeah. Uh, or whatever other iterations or expressions they have that have that mid winter or okay. mid summer as a part of their branding. I've I've seen that before. Well, you've seen High West out there and you've seen High West has five or six different expressions that are out there and they also they had the Yippie Kaye, which I and they discontinued the Yippie Kaye here I think last year. Which I really hate, and I haven't don't have nearly enough of them bottles. Really? Yeah. I I we'll have I, to do that here on on another on another spot, and because I really like the Yippie Kaye, but I don't like the Yippie Kaye as much as I like this. Okay. You okay. Know. And, did, and, did we talk about a proof on this? Uh, we didn't so far. Yeah. So this is uh, forty nine point three percent, ninety eight point six proof. Okay. Uh, and it, again, it says uh, you know kind of a play on the fact that. Uh, it references a theatrical uh, production. It says limited engagement, yep. Act Six, Scene Three, and that's what you're talking about in terms of how limited this particular bottle is. Yes. All right, right bro. And like I said, everybody's out there after them. I mean, if you're out on the on the on the interweb and stuff, where people are trying to get them, and they're they're hard to come by. Okay. And you know, it it, it retails I think for ninety nine bucks, and. Uh, you can't come nowhere close to getting it for that. I know people in high places. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't come nowhere close to getting it for that. And I have, I even went as far as overseas to pick up a bottle because really? I couldn't get any over here in the States. Okay. And then a few came available. I picked them up too. Let's put it like this. When they get out there, I'm not turning them down. I hear you, bro. So, I hear you. Here goes. Well, let's, let's Cheers. Go. Cheers. Man, that's why I like it, man. Yeah, that, that, that ride. this is special, bro. This is very special. It, uh, yeah, I understand why you like this. It, yeah, it is. It is. Uh, the flavor is intense. Uh, it is. Um, it picks up that sugar cane a little bit more. It does. The, a little the, bit the, light, the light brown sugar. Um, yeah, it it, it uh, that, that floral note that I'm I'm hitting that I'm not quite can't make out what it is, some daisy or something. Hell, I don't know. This, this is there. This this is um, and that rye just comes over the top and go, mm, you know, but it's not an overpowering rye like some of them could be, you know. It's 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 balanced. And you may use your word balanced. It's extremely balanced for a rye. It is, bro. It is balanced. Uh, there's nothing out of place with the spirit. None of the notes seem to be overly prominent. Um, it's got a, uh, a depth uh, a flavor to it. Um, it doesn't drink like it's the, what'd you say, 40 what? I said it's, uh, it's, it's 98 point, what did I say, 98 point, um, 98 point 6 proof. Like it, it seems so. like it drinks a little... A little lesser than that to me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Not it, much, but just not as much. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't drink hot. It, it's not hot, but it, to yeah. me, it's not light. I mean, I, no. I wouldn't have. I mean, this is not I mean, something. A little bit. I'm not talking a lot. I'm talking just a little. It's just not at that ABV. On. Yeah. The, the the thing that trips my my trigger for it being light is me thinking to myself that I, you know I wish they had up the ABV or up the alcohol uh, content a little bit. Anyway, I, I don't I don't need it on this one. I'm, yeah, I'm not either. I mean, this this is like I, I said, I, it's, I it's, wish I wish that could be a daily sipper for me. You know, I really do. I, I've been hooked for quite some time. Uh, you know, and this has got, uh, you know, the spice that goes along with the, the yeah. rye on the, on the back end. You don't really pick it up on the nose, and, at least I don't. And I've been tending to, to, to gravitate to the rye a little bit more than I have on the bourbon end for some for some strange reason. I don't know. The rye seems to hit me a little bit better than that than the bourbon does. So 
you know, there are a lot of people that think that rye is an easier drinking spirit okay. uh, than, than bourbon is. Uh, and then there are people uh, that think the exact opposite. I don't know that I have a position one way or the other. I do know that in my journey in terms of consumption of these spirits, that I just kind of, I go in waves. I mean, I'll go through six or eight or ten months of mainly exploring rye and then I'll swap over uh, to doing the same thing with bourbons or uh, Tennessee whiskeys and uh, and all of that is interlaced with um, you know with uh, my consumption of uh, single malt scotch. Well I can just say if you see it out there jump on it don't hesitate don't 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 stop and wonder should I get this bottle or should I not get this bottle I would strongly suggest you get the bottle if you see it on the shelf. Did you say anything about what your what the price point is on this bottle? It retails for ninety nine bucks. Okay, but it's but you've been getting it off the secondary market. I've been getting it off secondary market. I have I have we're lucky enough to pick up a few up at the ninety nine dollars. Okay. But it's a hard. A real hard. Okay. And like I said, it's it can vary from on the secondary up into the one sixty, one seventy and higher. Now that that gets into another level that that I'm not sure if it's quite worth it. But at 99, I'd buy as many oh, as many as you can. can. Yeah. 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 This, you know, I, I I'm not completely well versed in in uh, in in the variety of rye that are out there, and what's good and what's not good. I do know that I like this. I've had other rye that I like uh, a lot, and I like this one as much as any of the other ones that I've had. Um, and you know. The one thing that we that we did not mention as a part of our taste taste notes, uh, tasting notes is uh, port, uh, and this is it's finished in port. It's finished in port. Okay. Yeah, it's finished. It says here finished in French oak port barrels. Uh, well, that should make it, you like it even more. Well, I, you know, I, I like. I know, I, you, I know you like your port. I like my port. I do. I like me some okay. tiny port. Strongly suggested. Hey, if you like what you're seeing. Hit the like button, subscribe, you know. Comment. Comment. Hit the little bell and all that stuff. We're the Spirits Brothers and we out. Adios.